guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here um welcome and today i'm just going to be talking about my online art pet peeves because there is so many i've been meaning to do a pet peeves video for a while now because everyone has them so i'm just gonna get right into it also note that i'm only going to be talking about my online art pet peeves not real life because that would be for another video Okay, so number one is actually could be kind of controversial because some people believe in this for some reason. Um, but basically, when people ask you to give credit for a color palette or a pose, like there's only so many poses that exist. There's only so many colors that exist. It's not like you're making a new color. And I find it really weird because it's like, who are you? Like, did you even make this? I get it for designs because like you worked hard into that design, you searched for... People literally get paid for that, but people do not get paid for making a color palette. Like, let's be real guys, I thought we left this in 2017, which it was a big issue back then. It's very common sense, I don't get why people like sell pose adoptables or color palette adoptables when you can just think of it. it I don't know, the idea is so weird to me, it's just like basic knowledge. Okay, the second one is when people say that using brushes or presets or bases even is cheating in art as if it matters and also people don't draw for other people they draw because they want to they can draw whatever they want they can trace as long as they're not claiming as their own they can use references they can so what's wrong with using a customized brush and simplifying a very difficult process like imagine having to draw 1000 books and then being able to simplify it and be t able to do it in like such a short amount of time, it's great. And then people will go around saying like, oh, but you're cheating. But I can. Usually it's the non-artists or the people who have really not been into any digital softwares that are saying this. So, I mean, I don't blame them. But it's we're using our tools to our advantage. It doesn't make us any less artists. Number three is something I see a lot nowadays, but it's pick me or guilt tripping comments. So for example, your art is so nice. I wish I could draw like that, but my art sucks. I'm so bad at art. I'm literally terrible at art. I wish I was as good as you. Like, come on, come on. Maybe don't say that to artists. Like, it's normal to feel upset about your art or comparing to others. It's a very valid feeling, but Making it the other artist's business is kind of not a great thing to do. But I do get it if it's like a joke, like people saying, Oh, I can't even draw a stick figure, you're so good. Like, that's fine, that's great. Guys, don't trauma dump to artists, please. Okay, number three or four, I don't remember, is AI art trends. And at first, like, they were really fun. Like, oh, look at this cool thing where you can put your art into it and it can reimagine it or do something different. Yeah, it's really intriguing and really cool, but then you realize that you're literally feeding the AI and your work could be plagiarized or could be considered plagiarism. If you have a problem with that, then um, maybe you shouldn't be putting your work into AI or like those applications because it may take it from you. So just watch out, guys. But if you're totally fine with that, then go ahead. Do as many TikTok AI trends as you want. Um, it's your life. Okay, last but not least for this video, this one isn't actually like an issue, it's just something I see a lot, and it has something it's like related to the pick me comments. Um, but basically those videos where it's like support a 13 years old artist or a 12 year old artist or a nine-year-old artist, and then they show the most amazing, mesmerizing, insane work of art that looks like it could belong in a museum or took someone like 10 years to make um this isn't really an issue um but i think the issue is when people say like um and people ask like oh how are you so good at art and then they say i just practice like of course you have time to practice because you are in middle school and you know you don't have obligations whereas a lot of people, like adults or people in their later teens, probably have a lot of more things to do, so they could feel, like, discouraged, I guess. Again, it's not really an issue. It's just something I see a lot. So, um, any advice 
would be don't compare your art with 13 year olds online because sometimes they might not even be 13 like they're probably an graduated with an animation degree <laughs> so yeah okay i hope you like this video um this was really quick i just really want to share my knowledge and i might do another video for like non-online art pet peeves but honestly it's fun um comment down your art pet peeves if you have any or if you agree or disagree with any of these these are all meant to be taken lightly um i'm not flaming anyone for anything if you do some of these good for you um this isn't really very serious so yeah thank you for watching hope you stick around bye also if you enjoyed the speed paint in the back you could always consider subscribing or following my instagram even so yeah thank you so much bye